Good morning. Do you want to live a healthier life and be a better you? Well, hang in there with us because that's what we are working on today. Welcome to the 30 Day Health Challenge live show. Where we forget to turn off and mute our own stuff. Sorry about that. Welcome to the 30 Day Health Challenge live show where we are a community of people that is always working to be better. This channel is Happy Trails Hiking and here you will find information on H3O Health happiness and hiking in the great outdoors. Today, we have an awesome show for you guys today. So excited. We are talking to the creators of the hashtag Best Life Squad. And we've got Jay Littman and Alejandro Perez. How are you guys doing today? Doing amazing. Doing great. Awesome. Super awesome. Awesome. That's great. I'm so thrilled that you guys could be here with us today. And um, I'm sure that we have a lot of people headed in from the Best Life Squad. Um, I would like to know how you got your um, Best Life Squad started, kind of. How did this happen? You want to take this one, Alejandro? This was kind of, I got to give like 90, at least like 95% of the credit to Alejandro on this one. So. I can tell I can tell my side, but like it's it's really it was it was okay, his could, his deal that started the whole thing. <laughs> I could start it and then you finish it where like <laughs> so, <laughs> it started out when I was at Vid Summit and I think it was the second day of talks. And when we were um talking or when I was listening to Cody and then um Peter McKinnon they were kind of going back and forth about talking about setting up a community and um, the hashtags and um, just getting people involved and in, like getting a community of like-minded people working together. And it just like really inspired me. And I uh, messaged Jay on Twitter and was like, Hey, we need to do something. I've like, got like this great idea. I know that you always say best life at the end. We should do like a best life community of some sort. And then Jay continued on Twitter from there. <laughs> Jay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, you know, actually the story kind of starts before then a little bit. Um, it, it, there was... There was like a time, and this is kind of public information if you follow Alejandro's, uh, you know, YouTube channel. But like, there were a couple of videos. He kind of hit a burnout point, you know, um, and then he like turned it around, and like he had like a few videos right there that were like that were like super just raw and emotional, and as far as I'm concerned, absolutely amazing videos. But he started talking about living your best life in those videos. And, and I commented jokingly like, Oh, live your best life. That sounds familiar. Um, and then, you know, that kind of like, that's how it, it, <clears throat> it, like that started that, you know, where he started getting really interested in living his best life. And then vid summit happened and he was like, uh, we need to do something. And you know, me being who I am, just, I just took it and ran. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, along awesome. with, oh, go ahead. Oh, along with that, like I felt really bad because I was doing it, and when I was doing it, I was thinking, "There is this sounds familiar. Where do I know it from?" <laughs> and I watched every single one of Jay's videos, and I couldn't link it until he sent me that comment, and I was like, "Oh man, I feel so bad now. I'm sorry." <laughs> but it, like Jay was saying, it was like really kind of that message I was doing, trying to get to it, and it's 
came from a different perspective, I feel, but we were getting to the same point, Jay and I, in our videos. Right. Awesome. Well, I thought it was really funny and perfect timing um, because last week on Where Are We Wednesday, which, by the way, community announcement is canceled for tomorrow. Jay's got a gig. He's got to go work. Um, but last week on Where Are We Wednesday, Jay was like, Kay, I need your help. Um, I need to name something. And so he was trying to find a name for his people, you know, the people who follow him. And Best Life Squad works out really great. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything. We were all in the chat trying to think of something that would go along with Jay or Lipman or something. But anyway, so I thought that was perfect timing and wonderfulness. Um, let's say hello to some people in the chat since we do have a lot of folks in here. This is great to see you today. Life on the trail. Gary, high five for being here. Gary's here with me almost every day. Golden Schwagger 21. Hey, it's good to see you. Need, needs more subs or needy is here within hiking districts. Alex, it's great to see you. I loved your video this morning. Michael T. Panetta. And he says, um, someone tell Michael Flyer Jr. to stop talking. <laughs> no, Michael Michael goes the same time every day, and he's really good at getting off at an hour. So TWG7 is here sending lots of hearts. Um, and Karen Summers made it for a minute. Thank you for being here, Karen. This is awesome. And Polly Newman and Inspired John is here. Inspired John is driving people to the polls today. And he has a huge premiere tonight at 6 p.m., so um, he wants everybody to show up for that. So at 6 p.m. Eastern, please be there for Inspired John's premiere. Um, Creative Redundancy is here. Good morning. Don Bryant is here. Actually, it's Sue who's in the chat this morning. And that is my mom. And I did have something to um, share from my mother. She has been doing the 30-day health challenge with us since August and started with the workout challenge and was doing... Um, 30 minutes of workout every day. And so for those of you who haven't been following along, my mom has had a heart condition for a really long time, over 20 years. And the doctor told her a year ago that she really had low heart function. And so she needed to start doing some exercise, cardio exercise, but she couldn't do swimming because she's kind of allergic to the pool, basically. Um, but uh, so she has been doing this 30 minutes almost every day, at least four or five times a week, um, and getting in these miles. And she has increased her heart function by 10%, by 10% in the last year. So congratulations to my mom. And, you know, it, that's very personal to me too. So that's awesome. 21090 Brewing is here. What fun stream to jump into. Hello. He says hello to Jay and Kay and Alejandro and Michael Fire. See, showed up. And Alejandro has typed into the chat there. And um, Jay, if you can type into the chat, that would be great. Um, and then that way it's easier for people to find your uh, channel. However, all of uh, Jay and Alejandro's information is down in the description box. And I know that Alejandro has really been working on his IGTV and Instagram stuff. So that would be a fun thing to look at. And I get an email every day telling me that Jay Lippman has put something new on Patreon and you don't have to pay to get those emails. You just have to follow. So that would be an awesome, awesome thing. River Rat Skippy is in the house as well as serving from my home. Oh my goodness, we got so many people here. Thank you so much. And Susan's Creative is here and Alejandro Perez and Jay Lippman are here. All right. My goodness, so many smiley faces. All right, I guess we're ready. And yeah, you know those two guys. So I hope you know those two guys and I'm assuming that's the reason why uh, that most of you are here. So the, I will talk about the people who are in later, but Jay and Alejandro, I wanted to know what living your best life means to you. So who wants to take that one first? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Alejandro, go first. What does it mean to, for you to live your best life? So for me, living my best life is really every day doing something that is progressing me forward and like just taking action and control because a lot of times in my own life, I find that I end up being like really passive. And um, when I'm working towards living my best life, I am really kind of putting myself in the driver's seat of my life and working towards improving every day. Awesome. That's a great answer. So Jay, you're up. Uh, mine's really simple, actually. It's, 
my best life is a life where I can wake up happy and fulfilled every day, you know, and uh, I've been blessed to be able to reach that. But there were so many years that I didn't have that. And it, it had nothing to do with the job that I hated. It had nothing to do with like any of that stuff. It, it was all internal, you know, and so I've done a lot of work over the last almost decade to get to the point where I can literally wake up happy and, and fulfilled by what I'm doing. And, and that's, I mean, that's my best life right there. Awesome. And um, I guess I was trying to type in the chat and say that if you have questions for Jay or Alejandro, please be sure to type at Happy Trails Hiking in the chat so that I can go ahead and see those and make sure that we ask them. Um, and uh, Tanya Lambert is in the house and she's a fellow uh, St. Louis. And so I always like it when she pops in. So it's great to see you, Tanya. Thank you for being here. Um, I don't think we have any questions yet. Um, creative redundancy is being encouraging. He's always so encouraging in the chat and says, if you enjoy the content and the panel, support them and encourage with the thumbs up. Thank you so much. All right, so next. What is our, so you've created this Facebook page called hashtag the best life squad or hashtag best life squad. Um, what is that about? And who are, who's your focus for the, for that page? Hmm. That's a good question. I'll take this one first, Alejandro. I won't put you on the spot this time. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I mean, honestly, <sighs> Really, if, if you went through the, the the process of joining the group and you saw the questions, um, that kind of sums it up a little bit. You know, we're looking for anybody, you know, creators, non-creators. It doesn't matter what you do, what your background is. Like the, the point of it is like this is a community. OK, here we go. The best way that I can explain it, it, you know, a lot of people here know about No Small Creator and they know that that's a community where creators are helping, encouraging and supporting other creators. Uh, Best Life Squad is the same concept, but for humans in general. You know, it's it's just people who have a vision of their life that they want to attain, and and they're now surrounded by a group of people who will support, encourage, and 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 help them reach those goals and reach that vision of their life that they have. Awesome. Anything to add there, Alejandro? Yeah, it's really getting people that are like-minded and want to drive to be uh, kind of working towards a goal or working towards whatever they feel their best life is. And then finding that community of people that are doing the same thing, but with their own path and really kind of finding out what tools are helpful that each person is finding out and then kind of sharing that with everybody else as well. Awesome. I, I love Best Life Squad. It so fits with my always working to be better. I know it's the longest hashtag in the world. Um, but, <laughs> but yeah, I just, I think that living your best life in my mind means that you're always working to improve and move forward. So um, that was really fun. Cliff Riser is our doctor in the group and he is in this morning. And so welcome, Cliff. It was good to see you. And Tanya Lambert wanted to ask, what is the best piece of advice you've ever received? Mm. <laughs> Do you want to you uh, think on that one? Yeah, let's, I, I, I got to okay. think on that. Unless Alejandro has it and him answering might um, give me, me enough time. For me, it happened when I was, right before I left to college, um, I guess like 15 years ago, <laughs> um, my, over that narrow, actually, um, my dad, he told me, cause I was like worried about the path that I was going and going to college and choosing, making all those decisions. And he gave me a piece of advice that I always think about, um, whenever I'm making a big decision, it's like, make sure that this is something that you are, you love to do. And if you love doing it, you're going to find a way to make it happen. Awesome. That's, nice. that, that is a great piece of advice. Um, so Jay, I'm going to let you off the hook unless you have an answer. No, I, I got mine now. I, oh, okay. I got it. Here we go. And I don't know if this was necessarily actionable advice, but I think it's one of the most profound things anybody's ever said to me. And they said, they basically said, Jay, you are okay. Your job is to know that. Um, and, and the backstory is, 
basically I tend to get lost in my own, in my own head and overthink everything and little things can become big problems real quick. And I'm very quick to think I'm not okay. This is not okay. I'm not doing good, blah, blah, blah. And, and usually 99.9% .9 of the time I am okay. I just forgot. So, uh, I, I think if I can keep that in mind, like I am okay, no matter what happens, I'm okay. My job is just to remember that and to know that. Yeah, so. that, that's great. My uh, mantra when I get all stressed, when I'm having anxiety about whatever, it, it's, it's, I'm okay. It'll be okay. I'm okay. It'll be okay. And I just, I say it over and over and over. Um, so that was a question from Tanya Lambert. Thank you very much, Tanya, for that uh, question. Creative Redundancy asks, how do you deal with stuff in life or when life gives you lemons and overcome it? When life gives you lemons, how do you overcome it? Ooh, that's a good question. That's, I mean, I, it's a very generalist answer, but I, I would say that, I mean, the best piece of advice that I got is to remember that you're okay. Um, and actually, I think I talked about this in the Facebook group. I think it was commenting on one of Alejandro's posts is, uh, when life gives me lemons, I, I literally, there's magic that happens when you put pen to paper and I will literally list down everything real or imagined that is on my plate and anything that I can't do anything about, I just cross off the list and consider it not on my plate anymore. And then I focus on what I can do. So awesome. Good answer. Alejandro, different one. Um, for me, for the last few years, um, it's been kind of like where I need to figure out where, how I'm going to approach things. And in my mind, it's kind of been very difficult. And like mentally, I've put myself together with all the lemons, I guess you could say. <laughs> but um, what I found that has been helping me lately is setting up a list of priorities and realizing that I'm not going to be able to achieve everything, but if I can get the most thing, the things that are most important done for me, I've done okay. Awesome. So it sounds kind of like um, you take and plan for the lemons and bunch them all in and, and you just cross off the lemons that aren't necessary <laughs> to deal with. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. Um, TWG7 wanted to ask Jay why only humans are allowed. Mermaid, mermaids should be allowed also. I, I, Timmy, I think we can make an exception for you. Yes. You, you, yeah. the, the, she is an exception to the rule. Uh, yes. And she is an exceptional exception to the rule. Let me just say. Um, <laughs> um, Susan's Creative says make lemonade. Um <laughs> Yes, that's good. I like lemonade. Um, and especially, I don't know, do you guys have um, McCallic McAllister's Deli is where you guys are? Not they have good lemonade, just saying. Um, and AU Pack Mule is here, and they come into our stream every once in a while. It's great to see you guys today. So is Trisha's Journal. It's awesome to see you. Um, Michael Fire Jr. says, you aren't okay when you stop breathing. Other than that, it's a good day. I agree. Yep. I agree. Yep. Um, let's see. My next question is, tell us about your no small November goals, because that's where I met this whole process. So, Jay, do you want me to talk or do you want to talk about your no small November goals? Sure. Um, my I mean, my entire no small November is is completely revolving around uh, spreading the word about best life squad and and growing the Facebook group and maybe not even necessarily the Facebook group, but just spreading the word, making it known, you know, that there's a group of people out there that like want to help you achieve your goals and, and, and live your best life. And so, and so far it's been going great. And like a lot of it isn't even my fault. Actually, most of it isn't my fault. <laughs> most of the good things in my life are not my fault. Let's just be honest. Oh, I just, that's not true. Well, no, 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 no. Let me, let me explain that. Let me explain that. Cause there's actually like 90% of what I do is just show up for opportunities. You know, like that, that's, that's, that's the story of how I got where I am. You know, there were, there were uh, 
opportunities to get better. And I said yes more than I said no. And and that's that's what happened. And like growing the best life squad is has been exactly the same. Like you reached out to me. I didn't reach out to you to talk about best life squad on this stream. You reached right. out to me and Alejandro. Like it was literally just me showing up for opportunities and saying yes more than I said no. So sure. um as long as I keep saying yes to those opportunities, I think we'll be okay. Awesome. Well we <laughs> Um, you know, saying yes in life. Um, so I used to run the improv troupe. Run. Mm. I used to moderate the improv troupe <laughs> at my high school. It was fantastic. Um, and I'm horrible at improv. But we played this game that said that is um, never say no. And so basically, you had to answer every question or every situation with a yes. So that put some people in some very strange situations um in scenes but it was it, it also gave opportunities for hilarity to ensue mm -hmm. so um and in that case it was good so yeah i think that's really neat um alejandro what you got for your no small november goals so my no small november is it took me a while to think about it like i was thinking about it because i wanted to do something big and something that i felt like was something worth doing and calling like not small for no not small november and uh the thing that i ended up thinking about was a kind of challenge that i i set together with my late wife that um before she started getting really sick she wanted she we were going to the gym daily and we were getting um into a lot of um health and healthy um habits and she started thinking, hey, I might be able to actually run a marathon. And she was feeling that good at that point. And I was like, that's awesome. Let's train for that and let's make that a reality. And for me, in my head, I never had run a marathon, but I felt like I could do that. Um, so for No Small November, I'm setting up a, by the end of the month to be able to run a marathon, but that's leading into a goal moving forward that is going to be to complete an Ironman. So No Small November is the first step towards that. So finishing a marathon, because I've never done that, but I'm pretty confident I can do it. But the Ironman is something in my head that's always seemed like impossible. Yeah. And um this step is going to be leading into what I felt was impossible and taking that step actually made it feel in my head like hey this is actually possible now so just taking that first step was a really cool experience because all of a sudden something that felt impossible just because I started motion towards it didn't seem as bad or as impossible Awesome. I just, I, I called you guys influencers last night on Twitter when I put out this link and you all both came back with, I've never been an influencer before. No one's ever called me that. And guys, I, I think that you are. In my mind, you are definitely influencers in that you um, have made me set a goal for No Small November. And I'm not a hashtag follower kind of person. Um, you know, hashtags were not a thing when I was in college or in, even until the last, you know, few years. Um, but so me following and sharing and, and all this stuff, hashtags is just kind of crazy. But my new goal in life is to um, become an e-commerce entrepreneur. And so my goal for No Small November is to uh, work at finding viable sources of income for my family and my new business. So um, it's not a hmm, it's not a smart goal. Uh, it's not something that's specific and measurable. Kind of is, but it's not. But you guys created me or <laughs> created me. You guys created the desire in me to create that goal. Um, for November. And so that, that's excellent. So you are influencers and I don't want you to think that you are not. So um, are there any other questions in the chat? I, I have been ignoring the chat. I'm so sorry. I usually read every <laughs> single thing that comes across here. Um, TWG7 said you had a choice and you chose positive. That matters. Um, Michael Fire Jr. says I'm a member. You should be too. And yeah, Mike's in the uh, best life squad. And uh, Tanya Lambert uh, says she's like this, and it's a great chat. Thank you for coming, Tanya. You're wonderful. Um, 
Trisha's journal says that um, uh, she's cheering you on, Alejandro. Human is here. And um, thank you for coming, human. I appreciate you being here. Pam's Outdoor Adventures says Alejandro is awesome. And uh, ooh, I always wrestle Rama videos. Russell Rama videos. Hi. Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming. And it's been awesome. Um, I don't have a ton of other questions. Does the chat have anything? <clears throat> Let's see. How is it possible that all you guys are so freaking amazing? Says TWG7. <laughs> Um, for all of us, how are we so freaking mermazing? Well, I, I'm, I don't know. How are you so freaking mermazing, Alejandro? <laughs> I think it's like what Jay was saying is just saying yes to opportunities. And when they come up, uh, really kind of making sure that you go for it and that you keep on working towards what's making you better and making the people around you better at the same time. Awesome. I think that there's some some ideas out in the world that um, if you're working on anything, you're working to be better or um, you're trying to live your best life. Do you think that there's some confusion in some people's worlds about what their best life is or what their best life should be? Because um, I know when I was younger, I made some pretty dumb choices. Um <laughs> So, and I thought I was living my best life. I was like, oh, I'm not really rocking this out and blah, 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 blah. So um, do you think that some people are just clueless about what their best life should be? Uh, I think Jay has a really good set of rules that he kind of made um, early on of what he considers the best life. So I oh, think- Share yeah. those with us, Jay, share those. Yeah. Uh, so in the in the video where I announced the hashtag, um, it, it came down to three things, and and one was that uh, you're not settling for a version of your life that's defined by somebody else. You know, um, you know, like me, the the script in my family was the typical, you know, graduate high school, go to college, get married, buy a house, have kids, retire, buy some stuff, and die. You know, and like that was it. And and I'm not saying. And this is where people get confused when I talk about this. So I want to make this very clear. I'm not saying that that can't be your best life. Like if that is a life that you desire, if that is a life that you want, if that is a life that you think will fulfill you, then 100% go for it. Um, for me, if I had done that, I would have been settling for somebody else's version of my life and I would not have been happy and it would not have been my best life. So that's rule number one. Rule number two is that you're committed to, to progress. You know, you can't like there's a difference between a goal and a daydream, you know, and and like you need to make it an, a, an actual goal that you're working towards. And on top of that, like to go along with that, because you will falter and you will do things that make you take two steps back. You have to be able to forgive yourself and move forward. Um, and then number number three, I do the German three now, by the way, because I live with somebody who grew up in Germany um, and <laughs> just random sorry squirrel uh number <laughs> number three is that that you need to be commit like whatever that best life is whatever you doing needs to like you need to be committed to making a positive impact on the the world around you and the people in your life that doesn't necessarily mean you're like living a life of like servitude or or anything like that but like if your life is all about what i can get and 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 taking then it's like you can do that if you want you have free will but like on, based on my experience you're going to be miserable because you'll never have enough so gotcha gotcha oh stop oh dashboard sorry um we are at 10 28 today guys thank you all for coming today we did have a few people pop in here at the end um Let's see. Arizona Timeless Tourist just did a live stream on Desert Wells at a stage stop established in 1868. And I really want to watch that. So that's good. Um, and Pam's Great Outdoors Adventure says, I love being around those that inspire happiness. Aw, that's cool. Um, my mom says, I can tell you that Kay never accepted the word can't. And my favorite story about that is I'm a trombonist. And so um, the trombone is this tall. And when I started playing the trombone, I was this tall. And so 
and when I was in fifth grade, they told me that I, I, you can't play that. It's bigger than you are. And I said, watch me. And I played the trombone for, you know, 30 ish years. Um, so it's been fun. Um, let's see. I played bass clarinet. And when I sat down, the bass clarinet was taller than me. So yeah, gotcha. I got school kids <laughs> like you. Uh, I understand. Do you play an instrument, Alejandro? And I play the tin whistle poorly. Oh, well, that's, that's very musical. <laughs> <laughs> um, my mom says that God didn't ask you to make a beautiful noise. He just asked you to, you know, make a joyful one. So make sure your noise is joyful. Um, Creative Redundancy says whatever life, where, whatever life takes you, you can always create a better one, one day, one goal at a time. You can do it. Create a better future today. I love that. Cliff Riser says, um, quote, there's a difference between a goal and a daydream. Love it. So you're being quoted now. Um, <laughs> let's see. Trisha's journal says, my extended family uh, think I'm crazy at the age of 66 years for doing this, being a content creator. Human says, one, be loving. Two, ask for advice. Three, repeat. And that's, that's yes, I agree, human. Um, let's see. On a train, we'll be back soon. Well, Russell Ramos videos, we are about done for the day. Does anyone have anything else? Thank you guys so much for coming today. It's been awesome having you on. And I hope that everybody will go down into the description and check out the Best Life Squad Facebook page and hang on tight because it's going to be a fun ride. Good luck on your goals this month, guys. Thank you. Thank you. You too. Mm -hmm. All right, everybody. Remember, you are not replaceable. I will see you tomorrow. Same time, same station. And until then, do something great for your health. Thanks, everyone.